Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Chrono Trigger. Uh, we just landed in this basically portal system where we can go to all the different time periods. Yeah, we haven't really explored yet because we just kind of got down here. So let's do some exploring. Okay, my HP and MP got restored. Hey. What? Hey, okay. Apparently we can't do that. It's firmly sealed. We can't go that way. Nothing over here. Okay. Well, I know we have to go back to our normal time zone here. You needn't be in such a rush. Before you go, have a look past the door behind me. Oh, well, you said it was closed. Okay. What are you looking at? Me? I'm Spikio, the master of war. I watch all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you? Um, very strong. I see. How I look depends on how strong you are. If you are strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. Hmm? Oh, you've got it in you, don't you? That must be why the old guy let you through. See, a long, long time before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But the people abused their powers and ended up destroying the place. After that, there wasn't anyone left who could use magic well. Except fiends, of course. But you have it. The inner strength, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. That's where it flows from. There are four types of magic. Fire, water, light, and shadow. Not everyone's got the same type. You, with a punk hairdo, you've got light. That girl with the goofy glasses, her power is fire. What's with big clunky thing? Sorry, buddy. Well, you aren't alive. You've got in great inner strength for what it's worth. It's just you aren't descended from ancient magic users, so you're never going to be able to cast spells. Your laser weapons and whatnot should suffice, though. They can inflict shadow damage. Kind of like shadow damage. By the way, it's not just magic. Everything is made up of those four elements. Alright, starting from the door. Circle clockwise along the walls of my room three times and say, I want to use magic over and over in your head. From the door, circle clockwise three times. Don't lose track now, three times. Don't want you churning yourselves into butter. Okay, three times. Two. This will be my third lap here. Well done! Ipso facto mini mo magic o. Chrono learn to use magic. Alright, lit. Oh dang, Luke is on fire, dude. <laughs> what can I learn magic? So, all fortified with magic. Want to try it out? Yeah, why not? Alright. Hee hee hee, I win. You make, you make any new friends, you bring them to see me, you hear? I like you guys. Okay, so we have to bring any new party members to this guy so they can learn their magic. Okay. Sounds good to me. Take me with you. No. Uh, no, I want Brobo still. And Luca. But well, it seems like I was right. People who lived long ago all enjoyed such powers, you know? Yeah, long, long ago. Well, I know you must be eager to finish this thing you seem so intent on doing. But why first pay... But why not first pay visit back to your own era? Hastes make wastes, as they say, and you'll find that even truer here. Come and see me whenever you have need. Think of me as your guide on Times Road. Okay, so he'll probably serve as like, um, if I need help and I don't know where to go, he will, you know, send me where I need to be going. Cool. Okay, so we need to go back to our own time here. One, yes, wait, so that one's 1,000. What are goblins doing here, dude? You folks came out of my wardrobe, didn't you? What are you doing here? What do you think you're doing coming from someone else's wardrobe? Bro, wait a minute. Medina is a village of fiends founded by your ancestors when they lost their war against humankind 400 years ago. Most of the town folks still have a grudge against humans, so be careful. There's an odd human who lives near a cave in the mountains to the west. He may be able to help you. Thank you to your, for your advice, but why are you being so kind? Do your people not despise humans? 
It's been 400, 400 years since man warred against Fiend. There's no use living in the past, of course. Not many other Fiends seem to agree with that. Okay, so it seems like whatever we did changed time. Medina Inn. Okay, mark it. Medina Square. Okay, let's check out each of these places. Okay, guys, so let's start out with the main um, Medina Square here. What is the meaning of this eerie chanting? Oh, I know who that is. It's a cool character. Oh, great fiend lord. Oh, great fiend lord. 400 years ago, I've passed since Magus commanded the fiends and waged war against the humans, but if Lavos could be reawakened, there will be no more humans. Almighty Fiend Lord delivered Lavos unto us long ago with his great magic. Medina in? Out! You spoiled my drink. No room here for humans. Scat. Just give up. I don't I don't want to stay in your disgusting rooms anyway. Okay, let's uh I guess check out the market. I'm just gonna take a guess that they probably won't sell me anything. Plead. I think they've got right to everything. Teach him a lesson, boss. Oh, for real, bro? Well, I didn't want to fight them. But... Don't have much of a choice now, do I? They, they beat you, boss. Monsters. Bro, just sell me something. All right, I'll sell. Ooh, bro, these right, these prices are ridiculous. This man's one thousand for a potion. Let me guess, he sells everything for one dollar too. Okay, not one dollar, but still. You think I'm gonna charge the human the same rate? I right, did. Let's go to the elder's house. Let's see what this elder has to do. Obtain speed capsule. What does this old man have to say? I'm Ozzy, the leader of this village. My great 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 grandfather fought against humans at the side of the Fiend Lord himself. Why didn't you exterminate the humans race four centuries ago when you had the chance? Okay, so clearly doesn't like humans. Is there anything up here? A little goblin? A fearsome beast lives in the cave on the mountain to the west. Only magic can harm it. Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind. Bring it back. Okay. So, okay, keep that in mind. The monster to the west, I'll only be able to attack with damage. Okay, we've already been here. Okay. Then let's not waste any time. I'm guessing this is... Yeah, Hecaran Cave. That's where they want us to go. Let's check out this place first. Mel... I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Oh, you've come to see me. Well, by all means, have a look at my collection. Could I interest you in a weapon? Okay. Okay, these are more reasonable prices. You know what? I'm not gonna buy the Crimson Blade yet. I'll 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 save my money on that one. Anything I can touch here? Okay, yeah. Alright, then let's go ahead straight into this cave real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save here. It looks like everyone's pretty full on HP because I just was at the time place, so I had my HP and MP restored. Death to the enemies of fiend kind. <laughs> There's nothing on the wall there. Chest. Ether. Okay. Love me some ethers. Ooh, I was gonna say, is there anything in that vase? Clearly. Ooh, it's spitting squids. Okay, I need his magic up here. Okay, 
Waterfall. Who are we fighting? Oh, okay, I was like, where did they, where did they appear from? Yeah, we got Cyclone Monkeys. Fuck. Luckily, there's literally no damage. Oh, oh, that, oh, is that thing like... Was that like in a shield form or something? Where I couldn't attack it? Why is this thing? Oh, I must need to do damage, uh, magic damage, don't I? Okay, then I gotta stop playing around here and just do that. And this will do a lot of damage to it. Okay. Easy enough. I'll just have to keep my MP high during this dungeon here. So clearly the theme of this is magic. Okay. Oh. A lot of magic dudes. I need to... I need them to come up so I can fire sword or fire cycle. Alright, fire world. Okay, I can fire world these two. And I can laser swing these other two. Oh, they're only doing those two. Okay, and then... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I didn't do that. That's fine. I guess? No. We won't do anything. We'll wait until Luka has hers up. Actually, I can just do a wind slash here. That would be a bit of damage. And if you guys remember from last episode, we did... Uh, Ether, we did go through the sewer, so we're a good level to be fighting here. Okay, let me check the, out that other cave before. But yeah, like I said, we are a good level, so we're not going to be having much trouble here, considering we did a lot of leveling before. Okay, okay, good. So this isn't... I need to, I need to get this chest before I go up there. Okay, I wonder if they're close enough where I can cyclone them. It doesn't look like it though. There we go. Easy enough. Let's see what this chest holds. Ooh, we got a few more. Not yet, apparently. Go ahead and do a laser spin here. And this laser spin is actually a really good move because it can reach so far. Except apparently it's because I'm on HP, so never mind. Okay, these guys are pretty much resistant to a because they only take like 5 damage. I'm gonna keep just doing normal attacks though because they should be loaded up because I don't want to waste more HP. Because I don't have that many ethers. Okay, maybe I will need to do that because, uh, okay, you know what, I will because these things aren't dying like I want them to. And I'll just, I'll just use these and that'll be fine. Maybe this chest will have an ether for me, you never know. There we go. Dead, dead, and dead. Okay, we got a level increase there too. Magic scarf. What does that do? Magic plus two. Okay. Um. Okay, so we will save that if we ever get a big magic user. I might put that on Luca, maybe. I don't know if that's a good idea to put it on Luca because she's not super magic, but she kind of is. More, more of these weird pink balls. It looks like they're pretty lined, like next to each other. So I might be able to use a fire cyclone for at least three of them here. Fire world. Especially Robo's laser spin is the most valuable because I seem I use it basically every fight here. Just because that's such a long range, it's incredible. Yeah, let's do a laser spin. And then can I do a wind slash? Let's do a wind slash. Flamethrower. Oh, I should have hit this one over there. But Lot of battles here. Oh, we got a lamp, or at least it looks like a lamp. Good. Chest that we cannot get. Fair enough. Mm, oh, we're going to the water section. Let's see, I can't go up there, so I guess I just need to go this way, which takes me under here. Can't go up the waterfall. Ooh, a save point. Okay. Um, here, let me fully heal up, because I'm just going to take a bright guess. 
and say this next part will probably be where we fight something. Okay, let's go in. Death to the enemies of fiend kind. Ooh. Alright. I think I'm dead. Dang it. Hmm. Let's hope we can do it this time. Let's do lightning. Let's do, um... Laser spin. Let's do fire. 93. This do 160. Okay, that is a lot. Yeah, I think in this battle, honestly, maybe Marl would have been better just in this specific instance, but um, I think Robo will be fine. At least we'll level him up here and he won't be an issue for later. Okay, I'll need to heal up Luca here. Um, and I don't want to use a whole thing. Okay, there we go. I didn't want to use a mid potion just because she's not a full 200 here. Um, hopefully he doesn't pull out water too because that'll do about 100 damage to... 100 damage to my entire party here. Okay, everyone needs to heal. Like now. Mid potion on him. Mid potion on me. Mid potion on her. I know that wasted like one big turn here, but that's okay. Lightning, fire, water too again, man. Okay. Let's use maybe Robo as the healing person because the other two are doing a lot more damage. Okay, that's actually good that he got that attack in first because now I'm out healing that. Uh, Counter stance. Okay, well then, let's just use this time to heal up. Okay. Fire stance is gone. Or the counter attack stance is gone, it seems. Okay, and I guess we'll give it a second for him to attack with... Just so... Okay, so there we go. We'll have to... Uh, use a potion on Luca. So we'll use Robo as a healing character just for this fight. Just because we need someone to constantly kind of keep a check on health here. Okay. Ro oh, that was a lot of damage. Surprisingly. Yeah, oh, he straight up directly attacked Chrono. Okay, but that wasn't even that bad. Okay, um... Potion on me, potion on me, potion on me. Okay, so I don't want to attack him because he's in this counter-attack stance at the moment. If I hit him with anything crazy, he's just gonna disengage. Okay, perfect. Lightning. Not gonna do anything with him just yet. Fire. We're still at a good MP. We've still got about half, so this is good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and potion on Chrono. Lightning. Okay, the next time Robo gets a turn, we're gonna heal Luca. There we go. Ooh, he attacked Robo. Robo has pretty good defenses here. That was just a counter attack. Okay. Oh, he's dead. Okay. 1,500G, that's pretty good. If only Lord Magus had destroyed the human race 400 years ago when he brought forth Lavos, the world would have belonged to us fiends now. Bruh. Well, he did. So, Magus created Lavos in the Middle Ages, and in the future, Lavos destroys the planet. If we use the gate at the fairgrounds... Jump in yet. What do you mean use the gate at the fairgrounds? What does that mean? Now we're back on here. Well, I definitely want to... Oh, hello there. What can I do for you? Okay, let's head back to the carnival here. 
anything different. Today is the... Okay, so... Seems like we're still in the exact same day, apparently. So let's go through this portal. Through the portal. Oh, okay, so we're here. So this is the portal for... Leanne Square 1000. But guys, I'm gonna end the episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.